Well, they describe themselves as the world's largest mental health organization. And they are a composite, if you like, of a pseudo-philosophical type of belief, coupled with a, a social dogmatism that uh, makes them particularly dangerous. What are the objections to their activities? Well, the objections are on the social level. They're not the philosophical objections. There are hundreds of sects like this sect uh, with regard to their philosophy. It's the social impact that they have had. They have attracted to them unstable, uh, many psychologically unstable individuals. And they have developed that instability to the point that the result is socially dangerous. To give you an example, a family that perhaps relationship is not the best, one member may uh, be involved in this group, and the result is that he is walled off, detached from the, from, the, from the family. The family is wrecked as a social structure, and the individual becomes enmeshed in this kind of net, out of which it is extremely difficult to get. The Scientologists have been holding meetings in Dublin. Is there any anxiety that they might get a foothold here? There's a slight anxiety. I think uh, there's a fertile ground here for these kind of organizations. But as against that, the financial uh, requirements to be a member of this organization would probably preclude a tremendous number of individuals from, uh, from participating in their belief.